Hello and good morning from sunny Bologna in the north of Italy. Today we'll be heading to Bari over on the Adriatic coast with the world's only high speed open access operator Italo. But first let's take a look at what the station here Bologna Centrale has to offer. To say that it's Italy's fifth busiest station, everything seems to be rather small and compact. That said, everything you might need is here, including plenty of departures and arrivals boards, ticket machines for both Italo and the national operator, FS Trenitalia, a staff ticket office and a few small shops and cafes. Anyway, it's time to head down to the platform to await the arrival of our train. I say down as... While regional and non-high-speed services depart from the upper-level platforms, most high-speed trains depart from deep underground. Our train, which is the 0857 departure to Bari Centrale, will be departing from platform 18 this morning. Then, about two minutes before our scheduled departure time, we had a platform change. For some unknown reason, we'll now be departing from platform 4, which is one of the upper level platforms, which will be at least a five minute sprint away. Now, with our train still showing as on time, I honestly thought that we'd just been thrown under the bus and were going to miss our train as a result of this. Needless to say, this caused quite a lot of panic amongst the passengers. Much to my relief, we emerged up the escalator and onto platform 4 to find that our train was just arriving, so we may have been out of breath, but at least we weren't going to be left behind and out of pocket. Anyway, our just over 7 hour ride down to Barry today will be operated by this 250km an hour or 155 mile an hour capable ETR 675 Alstom New Pendolino Evo train set with this particular unit having been delivered new to Italo in 2019. Note that, despite the name Pendolino, this train doesn't actually tilt. Anyway, I've booked a Prima ticket for today's journey, which is Italo's first class offering. While it is possible to choose your seat when booking your ticket, unfortunately, Italo charged two euros for the privilege, which is a bit stingy in my opinion. I mean, this isn't Ryanair after all. Nonetheless, I've selected Coach 2, Seat 12 for our journey today. In the end, we depart Bologna around a quarter of an hour late, at just after 10 past 9. As we depart, let's just take a quick look at our route for today. Well, it turned out that the reason for the sudden platform change was due to a signalling fault on the high speed line, so we'll be taking a low speed diversion as far as Florence, which will add about half an hour to our journey before joining high-speed lines that will take us to Rome and Caserta, and then heading across to the Adriatic coast and Bari, for a total distance travelled of 813 kilometres, or 505 miles. Scheduled travel time is 7 hours and 13 minutes, and our top speed will be 250 kilometres an hour. Now, there should be some rather nice scenery in store for us today, but unfortunately, it looks like our view is going to be rather obstructed, thanks to what I'm going to go out on a limb and say is the most filthy window I've ever come across on a train. Anyway, now that we're out of Bologna, I think it's time for a seat tour. 
These seats are nice and spacious, with more than enough legroom, even for 6 foot 1 me. The usual seat back pocket tray table combo is present here, and I was pleased to find that the latter was indeed both large and sturdy. A bin can be found in between the seats in front. An Italian style plug socket is provided for each seat. Importantly for such a long journey, these seats offer a good amount of recline. One of these stylish reading lights can be found at each seat, the controls for which can be found in the centre console. As for the seats themselves, well, they're very comfortable, nicely shaped, and feature this rather nice leather style upholstery. And lastly, a window blind can also be found, rounding off a very nicely put together hard product in my opinion. Well, the classic line may not be as fast, but this is certainly much more scenic than the high speed line between Bologna and Florence, almost all of which is in tunnels. Our first calling point is at Florence's Santa Maria Novella station. This station will be the first of three en route to Bari that we have to reverse directions at due to there being no through platforms. <laughs> From Florence, we join the high speed line and will now run non stop to Rome. I must say that, even at speed, I found these Evo trains to be very good indeed, with very little in the way of rattles and bumps. After Florence, the crew came round with the first of about three or four complimentary drinks and snack services. By the way, both the crew we had as far as Rome and the subsequent crew that took us through to Barry were fantastic. Like the sound of ad-free early access to videos? If so, be sure to check out our Patreon and channel members pages to get this for as little as $1 per month. About an hour and a half after leaving Florence, we find ourselves fast on the approach to the Italian capital Rome. Please get prepared. Please do not forget to collect all of your bags and personal belongings. Thank you for choosing us. I to welcome you there. After a brief stop at Roma Tiburtina, we pull into the city's main station, Roma Termini. We were actually supposed to be stopped here in Rome for quite some time while a crew change takes place and the train is restocked. But due to the delay, this was all done rapid fire in about 10 minutes and after another change of direction, we were on our way once more and head out to join the Rome to Naples high speed line. Welcome on board Italo 99.15 from Torino Porta Nuova to Bari Centrale. The train will stop in Caserta.
Rome to Naples high speed line is actually quite scenic as we skirt the edge of the central Apennines. Soon we branch off from the high speed line and a short time later we arrive at our next stop of Caserta. With the station being situated opposite the city's rather grand looking royal palace. From here the journey gets quite a bit slower with our maximum speed from here to Barry now being 200 kilometers an hour or 124 miles an hour. That said though the route across the breadth of Italy is again rather scenic and pleasant as we roll on through the small towns and villages. Right, time for a wonder. Coaches 1 to 3 are where you'll find both Prima and Club Executive, the latter of which is like an even more spruced up version of Prima. Coach 3 has a large accessible toilet, as well as spaces for wheelchair users. Now, there's no buffet or dining car on this train, but rather, Vending machines can be found in this little snack area in Coach 3. Both cold drinks and snacks, as well as freshly ground coffee can be bought here. And I suppose that the prices aren't too bad, considering that we're on a train. Beyond this, we find Smart, which is the second class offering. The seats here are very similar to the ones found in Prima, albeit in a 2 plus 2 configuration. Also note that, unlike on the AGV, which you can find a video of in the top right corner of the screen, there's no cinema coach in Smart Class on the Evo. In terms of the availability of luggage storage, well, I found this to be plentiful, with both overhead racks in the saloon and larger stacks in the vestibules being provided. Toilets can be found at the end of each coach, and I found everything was as it should be, clean, well stocked, and in good working order. Lastly, this train is Wi-Fi enabled, and do you know what? The speeds aren't bad either. About an hour out of Barry, we arrive in the city of Foggia, which will be where we'll have our third and final change of direction. As we approach Barry, we're treated to some fleeting views of the Adriatic Sea. So, bar the last minute platform panic and the filthy window, I think that this has been a very good experience. These Evo trains are amazing in my opinion, with silky smooth ride quality, comfortable seats and modern interiors throughout. And to top it off, the service was great and the crew were really friendly and attentive. So what about the cost? Well usually a base fare Prima ticket will set you back 46 euros 90 on this route 
which I already think is pretty good value for money. But I picked up my ticket in a sale and got 40% off, meaning I paid just €28.10 for first class on a journey of over 800km or 500 miles, which needless to say is exceptionally good. Don't forget to add an extra €2 Euros to this though if you want to select your seat. So, a fantastic experience and much better than Trenitalia in my opinion. But what did you make of the Italo experience? Be sure to let me know in the comments below. Despite all the delays en route, I was impressed to find that we actually ended up pulling into Bari Centrale a few minutes early at just after 5 past 4. Now that we can have a better look at the exterior, I must say I'm a big fan of Italo's smart and speedy looking livery. Anyway, with all that, I do hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to help us out by giving it a like. If you're new to the channel, then be sure to subscribe and enable notifications as I publish new trip reports every Monday and Friday. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on Friday. Really just because the fact I'm not going.